hey guys what's up uh, my name is Chanel and today's video will be a long awaited empties video I haven't filmed one of these in so long I don't even know we're pretty much almost in June so maybe four or five months I'm not really sure when the last time I posted one of these was um, I need to curl my eyelashes because it's bothering me my eyeballs are bald I think my daughter stole my eyelash curler so Don't forget to like and subscribe helps my small channel out, my small channel out a lot and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video starting with the product that um i didn't like so much this brow free stuff by anastasia it's all gone it was in a project pan sticky did a weird crusty thing with the eyebrows didn't enjoy that one Another product that I finished through a project pan is this Dusty Crusty Estee Lauder foundation. Um, yeah, I just grown to like other foundations a lot more. So yeah, we're just, I have another one going that's in a project pan right here sitting right next to me. And I have that on my face mixed with like more lighter medium coverage foundation and that's the way I've been wearing it, just kind of sharing it out a little bit more. When I do want a full coverage, I do kind of pack it on to give that full coverage a look. But yeah, I just have other full coverage foundations I love more. So I probably won't repurchase in the future. My daughter really likes this one. And this is a really good shade match for her 1W2 Sand. So I'll probably do that. My man is watching the maths right now. So I'm sorry if you hear him clapping and cheering for his team. Um, another product here that me and my daughter both love is this Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this had to be months ago because I'm, I, I finished almost two more concealers since then. But, um, I didn't take the stopper out of this one. I just took out as much as I could. I'll probably take out the stopper and give this to my daughter because she really loves this concealer. Um, but I think it's pretty much dried out. Um, yeah, I have a backup of this concealer in a lighter shade to kind of brighten under my eye, which I feel like my makeup looks a little bit dark under my eye today. So I'll probably pull that bad boy out pretty soon, but I tried and true. I always get it on sale. I always get it as a gift with purchase, um, for like birthday gift and stuff like that. So yeah, um, forever repurchase. A bronzer that I finished up through Project Panning is this M Cosmetics bronzer. And this is the Corselet Sculpting Powder Bronzer. It was in the shade Slip. I finished it up since then. And now I'm working on a um, powder bronzer by Chanel. Not Chanel, so weird. By Chanel. And have massive pan in that. I'm hoping to hit pan. I'm not hit pan, but finish this whole thing up. It's the bronzer that I'm wearing today, so. Oh, I don't know what that is. There's something crusty that looks smoky. Um, I really need to clean my makeup. A powder that I love so much, and I've repurchased already. Um, I want to say this is like third or fourth one that I've gone through is the Givenchy Presme Libre um, powder, and this is in three Voile Rose, which is like the pink shade. And like I said, I've already repurchased. I've already repurchased and it's all dusty, but this is what it looks like. And there's actually powder in there. And it kind of goes on translucent for me. I don't have it on my face today, but I really, really love this powder. And I probably will pick up another one during the fall VIP salve, just cause it's so good. It leaves your makeup so flawless, airbrush, smooth, not overly drying it's just perfect for a combination oily or dry skin i really enjoy this powder a powder that i didn't enjoy so much was this nyx can't stop won't stop powder this was in a project pan too and i bought this several years ago when juicy jazz first like i guess discovered this and i always take her recommendations but it was just too dark for my skin tone i had mine in the shade fair which wasn't fair enough obviously because um, I'm not even really fair. Um, but yeah, I didn't like the way it didn't really set my makeup. I still felt kind of sticky. It was just weird. Didn't like it. Um, won't repurchase. I love my Givenchy or Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. 
finishing and brightening powder those two are good um so yeah i'll just stick to those three powders and um next is a primer this is the power grip primer plus four percent niacinamide by elf and um it's a good one it's just i like the watermelon dewdrop one more it's both they're both kind of sticky i just really enjoyed the scent of the watermelon one so that this one i won't repurchase another face complexion product i picked up is the picked up used up is the uh tower 28 and i really love this one i really scraped at it I really scraped it. You can't really see, but I didn't take the stopper out. Um, I like how flexible this is. I like how it, it fit under my under eye. And it was just like a good everyday concealer. Not heavy, but covered enough. So yeah, I probably will repurchase this in the future. But I do have a few uh, concealers I want to get through first before I repurchase. But it's a very good one. An eyebrow gel that I re really used to love back in the day was the Glossy A. This is the Boy Brow in the shade um, Black. Back when I had darker hair, it worked for me. And then um, I think when I had red hair, my hair had faded. I tried using it. It's kind of like a moussey consistency, little bitty applicator. It And it left like, I feel like little fibers. Um, it's just I didn't enjoy this anymore. I much prefer just a clear brow gel. Um, I'm using the cold sauce one today and it's working well for me. So I won't repurchase this, but I had got this in a kit. Um, I guess a year or two ago, the last time I bought something from Glossier's website. So yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase. A mascara that I will always repurchase is this Tower 28 mascara. It's the Make Waves. This is the jet one. I much prefer the brown one these days. Um, this is what the wand looks like. That's a lot. Of little bristles um it's a nice black formula it really coats and separates lengthens just nice everyday natural beautiful lengthening type of mascara um and i do have a brown one open at the moment i do have a brown one open at the moment and it's called drift and i feel like this is um just more natural on the lashes and just gives like a nice everyday look so i'll probably keep repurchasing the uh brown one if i'm in the mood for a black one then i'll pick up a black one the one i'm wearing right now is a colossal even though by maybelline um even though this one has getting off topic because it's not about empties but i just want to talk about makeup because uh, i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in forever um i'm just now getting into the routine of posting and filming so hopefully you guys will see more content more often for me um so this is the maybelline colossal mascara and this has a natural bristle one but i feel like it gives like a similar feel to the um tower 28 one i just feel like it smudges a little bit so today i smudged a little bit of um eyeliner and eyeshadow underneath my eyes just because i feel like this is already gonna smudge um but once i finish this i probably will not repurchase i will stick to my tower 28 and the shade drift which i really love the brown shade totally off topic let's get back into the empties i do have some lip empties here sitting next to me um these all were in project pans i have a chanel lip liner which i couldn't sharpen and it's just not very usable anymore i know you guys can see kind of a little tip but yeah and this one was a nude brown which i'll guess i'll swatch for you and it's a very pretty nudie color i really enjoy the formula and color but i love yours lip liners more i love charlotte tilbury's lip liners more so i don't think i'll repurchase the chanel one unless they reformulate and have a better formula than before it's an okay formula but i have my faves and um this maybelline one i bought in a shade that was too light to actually line um i'll try to see if i can get a swatch but it's a good nude lip color so i used that in the center of my lips not today but to be able to finish it off so i just folded my lips every day with this lip liner it's a beautiful nude shade if you're looking for a nude lipstick and it's in the shade 102 beige babe i probably will pick these up in a darker shade if they ever go on sale on Ulta's website um just because they are very long lasting i would eat and drink greasy foods and it would still be there 
and my dog's hair is flying everywhere so next up we have this buxom lip liner and this is the power liner and hush hush henna i'm not gonna lie this broke off quite a few times it's not scrolling up anymore i'll give you a little swatchy swatch of this one it's kind of similar to that chanel color um but again i just felt this in my whole lips kind of like a lipstick and i was able to finish it off that way um hopefully next year i get through some lip liners that i'm not 100 percent in love with either as using using them as lipsticks and only purchase the lip liners that i know i'm in love with that way i can actually focus on my lip collection and pan my way through those because i have so many and um i have my numbers for my makeup inventory already you guys and i'm super excited to share those numbers with you guys so be on the lookout for a makeup inventory video i just have to take the pictures of everything and hopefully i'll have that up very soon i did finish some lashes here these are the extra long wispy full lashes and um, these are by ioni um these are $1.25 really really love them great quality um they have a lot of natural lashes too but i'm just i'm go big or go home so yeah i probably will only buy their big ones and then these were very natural too these are the effortless lashes by velour um didn't enjoy these either too natural for my liking i did finish off a beauty blender it's um grimy torn gross and i've moved on to other ones so i thought i would mention that and then next i have some more makeup in here and these are even older than the products that i just showed you like i finished these off first and then these other ones that i just showed you were the ones that i've recently finished so i can kind of remember my full thoughts on those but we're gonna take a trip down memory lane because i'm probably gonna be like oh my god that was like a lifetime ago that i panned that at least it feels like it so on the top here so proud of this accomplishment i can't wait to see all my empties laid out but this is a blush this is the Too faced blush and it's all finishes from their Too femme collection and it's the butterfly babe and it was like a shimmery rose pinky color um at first i didn't like it but once i got through the over spray i really enjoyed it but it crumbled mostly and i salvaged and used what was left um but yeah I can't wait to see how many more blush MDs we can get through this year, whether that be cream or powder, I will be super happy just because I own a lot. Again, makeup inventory coming very soon. Another big accomplishment is the Chanel Cream Bronzer. And, oh no, I did it again. I did this so many times where I put the cap in upside down. So now the tab, is on the inside of here so i'm not able to take this out to show you let's see okay i'm not able to pry it open but i'm pretty sure the tap is like right here i'm pretty sure you can see how empty oh it fell out good <laughs> You can see how empty this jar is. I loved it towards the end. It's kind of creamy. It smells kind of tropical, but then it kind of smells kind of grandma-y and not good sometimes. So it's a hate-love relationship. But the formula itself is very moussey, creamy, and it dries down to a powder finish. So if you're not wanting to top it off with a powder bronzer, you don't have to, but I always do anyways. So yeah, um, I won't repurchase just because the shade's too orangey when I'm not tan enough. And when i am tan it looks pretty good um so yeah i have quite a bit of cream bronzers in my collection but in the future i will probably go up a shade or two just for i guess my preference i don't like looking oompa loompa and i can look oompa loompa if i am too fair for this a skincare empty i did finish off the charlotte tilbury magic cream it's just a little sample i get these um from sephora as like little promo codes usually and i did buy the whatever size this is not the hundred dollar one but the one underneath the half ounce and i hit pan on that one i need to finish that bad boy up so this one can be an empty for you guys eventually um still in the skincare realm i finished off the kale green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser by youtube people such a good um cleanser 
it lathers up well enough it removes makeup um i really like the scent and it's not drying on my already dry skin so yeah i will repurchase this in the future right now i am using um good molecules it's like an orange tube that's what's in my shower at the moment and it's a big tube that i got for free from an ulta gift so once i go through that maybe i'll repurchase this one it's a little bit more on the pricier side i want to say this little bottle is like 17 but lasts me a while it's the two fluid ounce um i only use a little bit it doesn't have a pump or anything so you have to be careful not to pour too much on your hands when i do i put enough on my face and then kind of wash um <laughs> my body a little bit with whatever extra that i accidentally spilled out another blush empty that i'm going to show you guys i actually went to last year's um empties but i lost the compact and then now my daughter found the compact so yeah this is the dior um backstage rosy glow blush and 001 pink the iconic pink blush by dior i will I will keep the packaging um, as like a little souvenir, a little token, a little memory, but um, yeah, not counting towards this year's blush empties, but I'm just so happy I'm able to prove it and show you guys that I did finish off that blush last year. So <laughs> um, I have a Lawless gloss right here. This is the shade, I think this one's velvet. No, this one's rosy outlook. It just looks very brownie because i used it with a lot of brownie lip liners i'm actually wearing a um did i say kosas i meant lawless a lawless lip gloss today and i mixed it in with a chanel um gloss so i'm wearing this combo right here lawless and this one's in the shade i think velvet yeah this one's in the shade velvet and then i milky it up with this beautiful gloss right here and the rouge cocoa gloss in 728 26 726 icing i believe it's called so that's a combo on my lips and it's giving like what's that nyx light pink gloss called it's giving that right now i wanted to go for more for like peachy on my eyes and cheeks and then the lip ended up being pinky i don't know how i felt about it but let me know if you're enjoying this makeup or is the pink just throwing you off that's the combo today another gloss that i finished off is this nyx this is milky gloss i use this as a lip balm just apply it every time my lips were dry and i was able to finish that off so so proud of all the lip empties i love penny lip glosses especially um a lip oil that i was able to finish off is this uh li -li 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 clarins this is the Clarins lip oil and I finished off of this bad boy. It's in the shade Pattaya number four. I really, really enjoyed this. I bought a little kit that had four different color minis like this and Pattaya was one of the colors that came in the kit. So I'm super, super happy and loving on those. And I can't wait to get through those eventually in the future, but I'm savoring them and loving them, enjoying them. But yeah, I'm happy to get this little guy out. A concealer that I finished up a million years ago is this Dior um, concealer. It's just so gross and bare. And this is in the shade, I really love this one, um, Zero M. But I moved on to like other ones. I don't know if I'll repurchase this because I really like my, uh, not Kosas, my, I really love my Tower 28 concealer. I really love my Givenchy concealer and they give that like very hydrated um natural everyday type of look so i don't know if i want to repurchase this one this one's only 28 and it's on the cheaper end at sephora and ulta i don't know does ulta carry this one i think they do but anyways i don't know if i want to the brush kind of frays after a while and i don't like that so this i'm on the fence about repurchasing and then a mascara here that's very dark and nice is the Glossier one, it's the lash look, and I like the rubble, rubble, rubber bristle wand, and yeah, looks like that. So, I really like rubber, rubber bristle wands. Every now and then a natural bristle wand will kind of like surprise me. And these I finished up so long ago are these boy brows. I have 4.5 and 4.5 again. 
Um, I don't even remember what these shades look like because I haven't even used eyebrow pencils in my eyebrows for so long. You know, look how disgusting this fully is. But I've just been using eyeshadow and my brows. I think eventually I will use or buy a powder that's specifically for your brows just so I can get the tone right. Today I used an eyeshadow color and I feel like it's okay, kind of. I didn't like the way this brow turned out in the front. But sometimes I use like a chocolatey brown color and it's just a little too red tone for my lighter hair. So I'm kind of like kind of stuck a little bit. And next I have this Pat McGrath eyeliner. Everything's like rubbed off of it has this type of tip let's see if it oh there's some more ink in there um should i put this upside down i feel like i've owned this for several years now at least two years so yeah let's just get rid of that just don't need it um and one more thing left i finished off um not all the way but most of it this gucci lip butter it just stank and doesn't really do much it's a light color um doesn't do enough for my lips so we're getting rid of that. It smells and tastes like crowns. And that was everything that was in my empties. So that was everything that was in my empties bin that I really needed to talk to you guys about. So let me know. Oh, nope, nope. I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. There is a Dior lip gloss sitting right here that I finished off. Um, it's like this orangey coral shade. They discontinued these. These were my favorite. These are the... Your Attic Stellar Gloss. This one was in 640 J'adore. Um, and yeah, it was just like this orangey coral shade. It's coming off kind of pink in the tube right now, but it's kind of more on the orangey side. But um, yeah, really enjoyed that formula. I am planning a different one, which is a little bit more shimmery in the same line. So I really wish they would bring these back. These are non-plumping. So if you don't like plumping, these were perfect, but you can't find these anywhere. <laughs> so... I'm a little sad about that, a little torn, but yeah. Do or bring this back, please. And now for all, for all, for all, that was everything. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys have been panning. Now that I got all these empties out of the way, we'll have a fresh little bag for the next, hopefully, month. Hopefully, I'll do these monthly and not take a million years to um, film. But hopefully now I can film like some um, favorites videos, just more videos that I've been wanting to film. But I feel like I had this um, empties video like really heavy on my mind that I needed to film. That it was kind of like not stopping me, but like I didn't want to move forward <laughs> before I filmed this video. But I got it out of the way and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, let's just talk about makeup in the comment section. Until next time, I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.